once you start to understand it fully you understand that you were never mad and you also understand that there, there is no madness in this world because everything everything that exists everything that happens is it's possible to be explained do you understand what i'm saying everything that exists is possible to be explained everything hey guys my name is joyce and welcome to my channel the project joy how are you today well uh since my last video i had some comments and some questions and uh one of the comments that i had in one of my videos uh was something that i was already planning to talk about for a long time already but since this person brought this up and i thought it was something really important to to share with you and uh, the comment was saying that how can i prove that this theory is uh correct how can i prove that i'm correct or how can i prove that i'm not wrong and let me tell you this is uh very important to say because this was my first question the first thing that came to my mind uh when i i first had my visions because despite of having all this um unlogical or illogical things that happened to me i've always been a very logical person so i always like to understand the facts and and see the proof of all the things so that i can actually believe it but that's something that what happened to me it's not something that i can explain scientifically in with the science that we have nowadays so uh, i had to find an explanation and i needed to understand what was happening to me and when the other vision started to happen then and i finally understood what was exactly happening to me and let me say i wouldn't be here if this was wasn't so important because uh for the people who know me for those of you who knows me personally i'm a very um i wouldn't say shy but i'm, I'm a very uh quiet person i really like to be alone i really like to be in my own space so having to do something like this videos to youtube channel it's something that is Oh, it would it would be unbelievable to me a year and a half ago for example because uh, i really like to be in my comfort zone when when it matters to my image it was not it is it is not something that i would choose for me but when this vision started to happen i finally got how important this was and how selfish i would be if i wouldn't share everything that i just understood because it's so much information that it's almost a shame of not being able to share it with anyone and today i came here to explain you uh the conclusions that i made once i understood how i can explain that this um that this theory is valid and uh and it can actually be proven right and of course i cannot say that this is right because uh there's a lot of other things that have to be through before that but we can say that it's valid for now and i will explain you how and why and when we go look to the three main affirmations about uh, our existence uh, the three main affirmations are that everything has consciousness that time is relative and that movement doesn't exist for those of you who doesn't who don't know just check on the previous videos that i'm explaining everything okay um when we look to these three affirmations uh the conclusions that we we can have are 
that the first one that everything has consciousness uh, despite of all the arguments and all the proofs that we can say uh, scientifically or spiritually or wherever we can say uh, we will never reach a conclusion on this one because uh, either one and either the scientifically or spiritually or religiously or whatever everyone will be right in some way okay so we will never reach a point that there will be an a final answer about this so we could we can never actually prove it it's just something that we have to understand it uh, in a logical way and then when we check the third affirmation that movement doesn't exist it's also uh, another affirmation that we cannot prove it right now as well because we live in a third dimensional world and we live like in the inside of the box let's say like this and with the tools that we have right now we are too limited to prove that movement doesn't exist one day uh after uh, some development and uh in another dimensions yes we will be able to prove it scientifically that movement don't actually exist but right now it's also an exercise that we can only do it mentally because both of those affirmations are things that cannot be proven right now in this dimension and with the tools that we have right now but when we look to the second affirmation, we you have to agree with me that if we prove that the second affirmation is right, then the other two are valid. I, I cannot say that they are also right, but they are valid because they are part of one only theory, right? Correct? And the second affirmation is that time is relative. So guys, the only way to prove that this theory that I'm explaining to you is not correct is by proving that time is linear or saying it in other words the only way of proving that this theory is correct is by proving that time is relative and Einstein has already proved this more than a hundred years ago explaining how time is relative but until today we haven't been actually uh, able to understand exactly what what does it mean time being relative and that's why i'm telling you um i needed to come here and to tell you this because this was the first question that came to my mind when the f the first visions that i had uh i started to question myself how can i prove that this is all right how can i prove that i'm right and then i got it the only way to prove i'm right is proving that time is relative and time has been proven relative for more than a hundred years ago so all i need to do now is to explain you fully uh, what is the language of universe? Because when we talk about our existence, where did we came from, uh, what we are doing here and what we are going, where are we going? We have to look at to another point of view. For thousands of years so far, we have been always looking from inside of a box or from inside of the box we haven't been able yet to understand existence in another perspective in the perspective that in the perspective that we need to understand what's the next step to our evolution so that to say that i'm not here to sell anything to you i'm not here trying to prove that i'm right despite of these videos about this but 
uh, I'm telling you, uh, I want to explain why this theory is correct or valid because if it wasn't, I wouldn't be here. It's very difficult for me to be here exposed and I wouldn't be here if this would, wasn't so important. And again, it would be very selfish for me to keep all this knowledge for myself and not being able to experience the world that I want to experience. Because once we understand this, I cannot explain you in words how does it feel to know all of this or understand all of this because it's such a great feeling it's uh, such an extreme love an extreme pleasure but in a in a very deep deep way that i i really want that everyone is able to to feel this as well and it would be so selfish of me to have all of this just for me and also it's too hard to live in this world right now you have to agree with me uh, it has been very difficult to be here nowadays and i really want to see the change i really want to see us developing i really want to see the next step i, I really want to see what's the future of our uh, evolution the future of our generation because we cannot just be here staying looking to all this that is happening looking to do this role being deteriorating looking to this role being destroyed and not doing nothing so i decided to look to the things in another way in another point of view of course it's not only for me uh, from me it's my spiritual uh, guides and my uh, my spiritual help um, they show me everything that i need to understand and to know to explain all of this to you but I just don't want to live in a world like this anymore and I I'm here I'm I know that there will be a lot of people not believing in what I'm saying or think that I'm thinking that I'm crazy to say all of this that I'm saying but first yes <laughs> that was one of the first things that I thought that I was crazy already but then i got it um once you start to understand it fully you understand that you were never mad and you also understand that there, there is no madness in this world because everything everything that exists everything that happens is it's possible to be explained do you understand what i'm saying everything that exists is possible to be explained everything and all we need to do is to understand the geometry of existence geometry of existence is not only all these re uh, repetitive shapes that we see uh, in, in the nature and around the universe it's not only that the geometry of existence is way more than that. It's the geometry that explains how, how we exist in time and space. How we are located in time and space. So yeah, we have to stop being so superficial when it comes to looking to our existence. Because it's more than that. When we, when I say, I don't know if I said that in this video or in, in another video, but the universe is made of numbers. Yes, we were correct about this. But when we say that the universe is, is made of numbers, we are not talking about mathematics. It's something way bigger than that, which is numerology. But we are still very uh, young, let's say, or immature to understand 
how deep this knowledge is. But anyway, I'll, I'll be here trying to explain as much as I can, um, trying to pass my knowledge to you, all, the, all this knowledge that was passed to me, to all of you, so that we can together understand how can we live in this better reality, in this better world that everyone wants to live right now. Okay? So that's it for today, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please share this video as much as you can because if you feel that this information is as important as I feel that it is, please share as much as you can. And don't forget to subscribe, to activate the bell and to leave a thumbs up down here because it's very important also for the YouTube to share the video to all the other people as well, okay? So see you next time, guys. Um beijo no coração.